Our protocol describes the use of conventional body P dyes for super resolution microscopy using their sparse redshifted states. This enables us to study organelles and biomolecules in living cells with 30 nanometer resolution. The advantage of this method is its simplicity and the versatility of different available body P conjugates that provide a long lasting source of single molecule signals. Our demonstrated application could become important to gain insights in diseases such as fatty liver disease or type 2 diabetes by resolving lipid droplets and fatty acid below the diffraction limit. We gain insight in fatty acid and lipid droplet biology in yeast and mammalian cells. However, this technique is applicable to all other transparent cell types with low background fluorescence. When using this technique for the first time, make sure to optimize the dye concentrations and laser powers to observe bright single molecule signals. A visual demonstration of this technique is important to see how the dye concentration and the optimization of laser power results in bright single molecule signals. Maintain the mammalian U2OS cells in non-fluorescent DMEM with 10% fetal bovine serum, 4 millimolar glutamine, 1 millimolar sodium pyruvate, and 1% penicillin streptomycin antibiotics in a T25 flask. Split the cells at 70 to 80% confluency to 1 to 5 and pipette in a single well of an 8-well plate. Culture the cells in the 8-well plate for 12 to 24 hours.